hey it's vanessa and welcome to my youtube channel if you're new hi and if you're not new welcome back so in today's video i'm gonna show i'm gonna speak about my face and things that i hate that i've overcome and yeah if you're not uh, on my channel i speak about i speak on some of my videos i speak about my confidence with my body and my face so yeah this is nothing new <laughs> so yeah if you're interested just keep watching so first of all i come here with a clean bare face no nothing no lashes i was about to put some lashes on but i thought you know what? bare 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 completely so yeah bare face and i think this is my first time in a youtube channel um with bare face unless i'm doing my makeup because i'm not i don't usually show my bare face on youtube i feel like i need to look like I feel much prettier with my makeup on, uh, which is true, but you know, I just feel, I don't know, like, I don't feel confident enough to show my bare face, and right now I am, so, and you know, it's not looking too bad, even though my acne is terrible, but yeah, so recently, well recently, like, I'll say like a year now, I've overcome things that two years ago it would be it was like an insecurity so the first thing I'm going to talk about I think I don't know if I've talked about it in, my, in my other video is my under eye here so as you can see I've got a line there and it's pretty big and this is not a line of I haven't slept like if you haven't slept I usually have a little line here as well but I don't it's just I've just got two lines here and they're not deep it's not like they're not deep so obviously they don't appear as under eye bags but they're not deep I just got I just have a line and like two years ago it, it used to like really annoy me and every single time I did my makeup I used to see it. I used to see it. And it doesn't matter how much makeup I put on. You can still see it. Obviously, not as bad as, as you can with bare skin. But you can still see it. So every single time I, you know, apply my concealer, I used to see it constantly, constantly, constantly. And it used to bother me. And I wanted to get done the tier 3 filler. And it's just, it basically covers this part of your skin. So I wanted to get that done. But surgery cosmetic surgery is something that i wanted to get and you see i still got in mind some things that i want to get but it also it always scares me because something about surgery i feel like when you get it done when you get it removed it doesn't look exactly like it was before and that's just fact i just feel like it never looks exactly like it was before there might be just a little change it won't look exactly like the one before so I'm, I've always been scared and also it's expensive and the reason why rich people, people who have money get, get the first done because as soon as you, as you find something that you don't like, you just quickly go and pay someone and fix it for you. Whereas me, I need to save up for that money and it might take me six months to save or one year to save, but by the time I've saved that money, or but I probably already, I'm not bothered anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's really what happened to me with my under eye. I, I still can see it, but it doesn't bother me as much. And I don't know, I don't know how I overcame it. I think I was just constantly doing my makeup. And eventually when I was applying concealer, I forgot that there was a line there. So I just kept doing my makeup like normal. And I just kind of forgot that there was a line there. And also this YouTuber called Mary Mesa, she had that done and she put she did a she put it she was talking on a story is it story or youtube i think it's a youtube channel and she's talking about her surgeries that she did and what she regrets and she said she regretted the tier 3 filler and i was like mm, okay and when it comes to uh influencers getting things done i will always listen to them like mr fabulous she did a bbl and because of that i'm not gonna go under the knife because i've seen the issues that you've brought to it and I don't want to, I don't want to go through the same thing. So, 
I, I always do listen to influencers and you know the thing about influencers they will tell me obviously they don't lie obviously if you got someone they don't necessarily lie they don't lie but yeah i trust them and it, they usually tell you the strengths and the weaknesses and it's really like i just listen to them i feel like it's really important you got uh diola patron she talks about her veneers and she told the strengths and the weaknesses that she said oh she, she kind of wish she didn't do that she got braces done because she needs she keep she needs to keep redoing it every single 10 years and i listened to that and i took it in and i decided to get veneers so I do. I, I feel like listening to influencers and listening to the um the experience with surgery is really important. You do get an idea of what, if you want to do it or not. And I, I like to listen to those people. And yeah, it, it kind of like makes my mind up decide if I want to do it or not. So yeah, the tier three affiliate I still got it as you can see, but it doesn't bother me as it used to before. And right now, when I apply concealer, I forget that it's there. If you know what I mean. And unless someone points it out, I forget about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I'm looking at my face right now and it's not it's not bothering me as it used to be before. And I used to get pissed off all the time when I did my concealer and I don't anymore, which is great. So, yeah. That's something that I've become. <laughs> so, another thing that I've just recently overcome is my lips my lips I, i'll say this like i overcome this like a month before a, a month ago and i've just recently how will i explain it basically i used to underline my lips and the reason why i underline my lips is because in my top lip, I don't have a mountain. The mountain is basically that mountain part on the middle. So I do have it, as you can see. But there's a lot of volume at the top of my lips. So when I pull my lips straight, it just looks like a round circle and, and just a tiny wave at the top. And I didn't like that. And if you look at Rihanna's lips, she has a full on mountain like a proper triangle i never i, I never wanted a sharp as well because she's got a really sharp one but i just wanted a little bit of a mountain i just feel like mine is just a full on circle and it makes my lips look like if i've had them done basically which i haven't and i used to underline my lips every single time i apply lipstick i'll show you a picture how i used to underline them but yeah i used to underline my lips just to and it's not to make my lips smaller, I've always liked the size of my lips. It's just to so the mountain, you can see the mountain better. Um, yeah, I, 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 always, I always used to do that. I always used to do that. There was a point in my life that I thought I wanted to get a lip reduction at the top of my lips here. And if I got lip reduction, it's just the size is fine. It's the fact that at the top, I've just I've got to, I feel like I've got too much volume at the top, and that's why you can't see the mountain. Because if I put push my lips down, you can see there is a mountain. I just feel like there's too much volume at the top of my lip, and it slightly pushes the lip back, and you can't really see it. And I think if I get a lip reduction just at the top here, I'll be able to see the mountain. It's not. It wasn't a definite thing to do, because. I was doing my research and getting a research that is really hard, especially in this country. I feel like you need to see it abroad to do it and it's not very common. People who get them done are people who have really massive lips or illnesses or whatever. And it's just not common. So it wasn't, it's not a surgery that I wanted to get, but I just looked up to it. And it's very risky and it doesn't, it doesn't always get you the results that you want because mine was a specific result. I wanted the mountain to show. I never wanted my, my lips to get smaller. I just wanted the mountain. But yeah, that's all. It's not a procedure that I wanted to get or anything. I was, and it's not like a major insecurity or anything. I just constantly, every single time I put lipstick on, I just underline my lips every single time I underline them. And for a change, I decided not to underline them. And I I literally followed my lip length through. I usually follow my lip length. I don't, 
I usually follow it here a little bit and here I don't follow it, I just go under. So I try to follow it through my lips. It looked banged, it looks so good. And it, it's just, it was just different. And I don't know, like it just felt, it just looked better than when I underlined it. Like you can still not see the mountain part when I've got, when I, you know, when I draw my actual lips. But it looked better than when I underlined them. Because sometimes when I undermine my lips, it looks like I'm missing my lips a little bit. But I usually try my best to use highlighter and cover it as much as I can with that. So it just looked really good. And I've done this like a month ago and now I follow up my lip around fully and it just looks really nice especially with lip gloss but yeah so that's something that you know i've changed the style of makeup that i do um that's because i've just discovered that following my lip line looks so much better than underlining my lip line so yeah i've just discovered that so yeah these are the two main things that i've actually overcome recently and I'm really happy, like, the fact that I've come here with a big face, that's a big thing for me, like, big, big thing. So, yeah, my nose, long time I've got over that. My eyes, as you can see, my eyelids is, like, it's dark about my usual skin tone. That's something normally in black, majority of black people, your eyes are highly pigmented than your skin. So, I kind of, like, kind of accepted that, but it's nothing that I can do at all, so yeah also um my eyes i don't know if you can see if you can see this eyebrow it's higher than that and the and if you see if you look closely this part here in this side drops and basically i don't know what it is so basically this side of my face drops i just need a little lift here and it just becomes even my eyebrows become even and that part becomes even now i don't know what really caused this and i really don't know and every single time i i it used to bother me when i did cut creases because when i was i was struggling before to make a cut crease because i can't make when i do a cut crease they're not the same in both eyes i need to do one different than the other one just because that eye is a little bit droppier drops more than that one so that used to bother me a lot when i did my when i did when i started doing makeup when i got my teenage years now i figured out how to do the cut crease i've learned how to do a cut crease adapting adapting to my eyes so it doesn't bother me as much my eyebrows mm, when i take a selfie, I put my, the, I don't know what facial expression, but usually my eye looks, like my eyebrow looks higher than the other one, and that's just because of the expression that I make. And because that eye is already droppy, it literally, I'll have one eyebrow there and one eyebrow down there, and, and that's how the selfie will look. And, but yeah, it's, I could get like a little first lift at the top here, and it will technically lift it. But as I said before, I just can't be bothered risking it. And something about altering plastic surgeries is that I prefer I prefer doing my body than doing my face. Because the face is the beauty. Like, forget about the body. It's the face that's the beauty. So, it's, it's tricky. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it. Like, I don't want to ruin it right now. So, yeah. And also, right now, my issue is my skin is a little bit of a disaster at the moment but i've come here with a bare face so i'm still saying this i came here with a bare face like that could never be me so yeah that's it like i'm really proud of myself i'm more confident on going out without makeup and um i've started to wear sunglasses and that's like a thing now when because I feel like when I went to town, I had to do my face. Like, I can't go to town without doing my face. 
but now like if i feel like my face is not right or like i don't feel like good enough i just put some glasses and it kind of hides my face a bit and i feel a bit more confident going out so yeah that's a thing that you know is good just wear some glasses and you know you'll be good <laughs> so yeah thanks for watching i hope you liked it if you liked it click that like comment and subscribe if you haven't so yeah i'll see you next time